In this video, we shall look at meadows. Now, before I go anywhere, I need to go a little bit behind when we are talking about bonding in metals. Okay, bonding in metals. We looked at that bonding in metals, we have electrons and the positive what atoms. These electrons and these positive atoms, they form a structure which looks like this. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So they form a structure that looks like this. negative there. So this is the structure of what? Uh, a metal. The, the way bonding in metals or, uh, looks. This is what we talked about last time when uh, with the time we were looking about um, uh, at bonding. Now in today's video we want to look at metals in details. Okay. So as we look at metals in details what are we trying to talk about? So <clears throat> We will have to look at the physical properties of metals. Physical properties. And the property number one is that metals, let's say they have high, high densities. Why, why, why do they have high densities? The particles in a solid or sorry in a metal, they are closely packed. Okay. They have a high boiling point and melting point. Okay, so they have a high melting point and a high boiling point. Why is that so? Why, why do metals have a high boiling point? Here's the thing. Metals have got very strong electrostatic forces of, of, what, of attraction. I'm, I am explaining why metals have got a high boiling point and why, or why they have a high melting point. Get me clear. I'll be as slow as possible. Metals have a high boiling point and high melting point because of the strong forces which require um, large amount of what energy in order to break those bonds okay so the forces of attraction in a metal that are very strong in uh, requires a lot of heat or energy or temperature in order to, for those to be broken down to another form of state. And the last thing is that they conduct electricity. They conduct electricity. Why? Because they have got delocalized the electrons. There are they are solids. They are, they are solids at room temperature and pressure except mercury which is the, which is the only uh, liquid metallic substance but other things we have to know about non metals sorry they are They are sonorous. This means they make sound when struck. Mukaimenya the jameto. Imapanga chongo, that's what we mean by sonorous. They are malleable. 
This means they can be drawn into sheets. Okay. Seven, they are ductile. This means they can be hammered into wires. Okay. Now we can look at the chemical properties. So chemical properties of metals, one we have, they react with the oxygen to form a metal oxide. For example, when I react sodium being a metal and oxygen, I'm going to form Sodium oxide. Two. They react with water to form a metal hydroxide. And hydrogen gas. Example, I'll use sodium. Sodium being a metal react with water. This will form sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen water gas. Next, they form positive ions. These positive ions are what we call cations. So metals, they form positive ions whenever they are losing what? Electrons. For example, when calcium loses two electrons, it's going to have a two plus there. This means it has got a tendency of losing what? Electrons. So I hope that is clear on the properties on over metals.